Hello everyone, we have here a nice uh, geometry problem. We have here in the figure a circumscribing triangle ABC with all the sides given and an inscribed circle at center point O. And in here, we're going to calculate the radius of the inscribed circle. So how are we going to calculate the radius of the circle? So first, we have to isolate half of the triangle the left hand side since if you notice this is an isosceles triangle and after taking half of the side of the isosceles triangle we're going to calculate angle A and we call this angle alpha so in here we're taking half of the isosceles triangle or half of the figure by the way so we're dropping a line from B so this point of tangency so this is the line that goes through the center of the circle. And we call this center of the segment AC or side AC as point D. So we have here half of the figure, the left half side of the figure. And this is 10 inches. And here, since it is cut in half, so this is half of the base, that is 6. So this is 6 inches. And here we're going to find for the value of angle alpha. So in here now, to find for the value of angle alpha, we're using the trigonometric formula. Trigonometric function. Cosine of an angle. Cosine of angle alpha is equal to the base divided by hypotenuse. So this is 6 divided by 10. Angle alpha is equal to arc cosine of 6 divided by 10. So alpha is equal to 53.13 degrees. Going back to our original illustration, to find for the radius to, or to calculate the radius of the inscribed circle is we have to consider this tangent point right here and the whole figure on this uh, left side of the circle. Since we have two point, uh, tangent points over here, the circumference is tangent to segment AB and the circumference is tangent to the side of the circle also is tangent to side AC. So this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees also. And so this segment, this segment and this segment are congruent. That is according to two tangent theorem, which says if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, then these segments are congruent. So this means these two segments right here are equal length. And this means also if these segments are of the same length, then angle alpha, if we project a line from point A to point O, that segment would be a bisector of this angle. So we can have another triangle form out of this taking half of this area right here. So we'll be having a new triangle in here and taking half of this angle alpha over here. And this line segment right here will be bisecting angle alpha. And we're taking this point right here also as designating as point E. So we're putting it as point E. Since we're going to take this out, this whole triangle over here, and so we can calculate the value of R. So we can calculate half of angle alpha over here, since we already have calculated angle alpha. That is 53.13. So this new triangle will have angle alpha divided by 2, or half of that angle. On the second figure that we have over here now, we have just isolated this uh, portion of that, uh, the whole illustration on up above this is point E now this is point E and if you notice this is the radius of the circle and in here half of this angle alpha now is equal to half of 53.13 degrees so that will be 26.565 degrees so this is now 26.565 degrees so we can isolate this new triangle over here now. We have here 90 degrees. 
so we can solve the value of the radius of the circle. And so based on the definition of the two tangent theorem, if this side is 6, then this point right here, A to point E, is the same distance as here. So this must be 6 inches also. So just 6 inches. So based on the original figure over here, since these two sides are congruent and 12, and at center at point D is half of 12, so this must be 6. So based on the definition of two tangent theorem, so these two segments are equal. So that's this side means that is this is 6 inches also. So the same way as this. So from our figure, we can solve the value of r, the radius of the circle. Isolating this right triangle over here, since we have just determined that this side, a, e, is 6 inches, the same way as this distance, the length of the segment a, d. So by taking tangent formula, we can solve for the value of r. Right? Okay, let's do that. So we have here now tangent of alpha divided by 2. Angle alpha divided by 2 is equal to r divided by 6. So r divided by 6. Alpha divided by 2 is 26.565. So that is tangent of 26.565 degrees is equal to radius divided by 6. Here, taking the value of r is equal to 6 times tangent of 26.565 degrees. Taking the value of r, r now is equal to 6 times tangent of 26.565 degrees. That is 2.9. 999 9, 9. and this is equal to 3 so R therefore is 3 inches our final answer and so that's all for now and for those new to my channel I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching have a great day everyone bye